Hi there, this is Paul Aguilar. For this session, we are going to learn how to extract data coming from an ELV grid that was executed by a different transaction. So I'm going to show you how what's the main requirement here. So if we go to VE02 and um, hit the orders, and this is a report that uh, views uh, sales orders. Let's try this uh, document, execute. And this is an ELV grid with the sales document type OR. So how are we going to get the data coming from this ELV if we are creating a, a simple program that should fetch uh, data coming from this uh, ELV grid? So I've uh, built a simple uh, class. This is the class ZCL sales data. And if we're going to change it, I've created one method. It's a get award. Uh, basically, this is the sales document type award. Let's uh, try running it. And uh, this is the method. This is the class. And if we execute it, let's try VBLN 4969, copy, paste, how oh, that, let's see how that for this one. Let's try this one, run, and there we go. The award, it's a OR, is it the same? The same. And uh, okay, let's uh, investigate how was this uh, created. So in the get award, uh, I have uh, three parameters. Uh, IV means import variable. These are the variables that you will be passing to this uh, method. And this is the returning variable. Oh, this should be in RT. Anyways, uh, basically, this is the uh, returning value. This is the value that is being returned by this um, uh, method, get award. So let's go inside this uh, method by highlighting this one and clicking this code button there. Oh, it went out. So uh, I think there's a bug here. Change. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, let's. Uh, so I've uh, declared uh, this uh, type. This is a long type. Later, I'll discuss how. Did I create this one and uh, created uh, LT data and LS data type LT T data. This is the long type here, and this is the structure, and this is the internal table. Later, I'm going to use this one below. And let's uh, create also a field symbol. Any table is a type. And LVV billion. Uh, I'm not sure if I use this one. Let's check. I think we can. Oh no, we can remove this one. Sorry. And this one is coming from this one also. We're gonna use this later here. And uh, this section here is for the parameters, or is params. So um, if we go back to the uh, this one, we need to find out what's the uh, program that's uh, running this one. So how are we going to do that? Uh, we could go to SE93 and uh, VA05N and display, and that's the program name. Let's see if we can display it from here coming from the easier to orders go to status oh the easier five yeah you can see it from here see uh, SD sales document view and uh, there we're just gonna run it later that program inside the code so uh, we're done with the declaration steps 
Uh, this is an important uh, step here. Uh, just copy paste this one. And this is like uh, setting it, uh, setting the recording that will happen for the uh, ALV. And uh, this section here is uh, for the parameters that will be used when calling the SD sales document view. And this is the one that I actually choose uh, recently. And uh, LT cell screen. Uh, basically, this is the field. Uh, these are the fields that you will be passing to this uh, program. And they are stored in this uh, Ethernet table and put it there. And this is important. Uh, don't forget the end return. And uh, after doing that, uh, selecting the, I mean, running this uh, program, uh, it will force to return in this uh, section of code because uh, we've added this uh, end return uh, clause there. And uh, just uh, copy paste this one, uh, this uh, section uh, here. Um, I remember this one. So all the um, data that will be uh, uh, generated, uh, I mean, viewed in the ALV will be stored in this uh, internal table, LR sales data. If we check that, how it was declared, let's go up there, type wrap the data. So after that code there, um, the data will be assigned to this LT sales data. So what's this LC, LT sales data? Let's check the declaration. Go up any table also okay now let's go down again let's go back uh, now catch for errors and this LT sales sales data uh, let's uh, put it outside uh, of course check the sub C and passes uh, LT sales data to LT data this LT data is the internal table that I've declared uh, on top that has a lot of fields. So how did I get all of those fields? So that's simple. Um, uh, run this one for 969 and go to SD05 and investigate. Uh, click to activate. Uh, don't forget this one, SQL trace, uh, activate trace. And let's go back here, execute it. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. We should go to SE18, uh, SE30. Um, this is a new set. And the 05 n or we can try this one, SE sales document view. Execute it. And enter the document. Run. And there you go, ELV. Go back. Go back again. Now it's going to uh, create the hit list. All the things, all the function modules that you've uh, used under that program, they will be uh, listed in this uh, uh, table here. So what we're looking for is the reuse ALV. Check, not that. See here, not that, not that. There you go. Oh, access first. Reuse ALV grid display. Double click it. And there you go. So, uh, sorry. Set a breakpoint. And uh, let's run it again. Let's go to V02 again. Run. Run. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Just pause it. <laughs> Um, now we are here, and what we're looking for is the uh, where is that IT field cat? There you go, LT field cat. Double click and double click this one. There you go. Uh, these are all the fields, and let's find the types. The types are over somewhere here. There, rolling. Yep. It is. So how are we going to easily extract this data? So just click this uh, tool over here and 
export to um, Columbia save and file there spreadsheet and this three okay so let's go to one of my folders here edit later okay yes okay um We can click F8 here now. And let's go to my folder here. Delete later. My tab. Sorry for the long wait, my computer needs a uh, upgrading so I just click yes there um, let's uh, insert a new column here let's do some Excel stuff here um, type and this are all name there Then um percent comma go. Did do it that up okay. Double click this one. Now copy paste. That's how I got it, basically. Okay, there. So because if um one of the fields here is wrong, um this section here. Uh, when you pass the extracted data to this internal table, it's going to dump, go into error dump. So it's uh, very important to make sure that the uh, columns are all correct. And uh, there, uh, clear edit data and um, read LT data. Since we only have one line, uh, read index uh, one. Uh, transporting our and LS our um, LS data our is the data place it there to the returning value and that's it so let's say Hunters of the bug. Oh, we haven't uh, removed that one yet. Let's remove that. Over. And thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.